Hello out there to anyone who is listening. I know I'm a little late, but Happy New Year. So I was going to go over some of my resolutions for 2016, but honestly, resolutions can be kind of personal, and I really don't think I should like get into that a whole lot. Um, I do have some health-related um, resolutions that I am willing to share with everyone, but like to do a whole video um, on all of the things that I want to accomplish in 2016, it's a little too much. So um, one of my health related resolutions for this year is to grow my hair out. Um, last year I had my hair cut in this like super fantastic asymmetrical but it was like super like almost shaved it was so close to my head and then it was like nice and long like almost shoulder length on this side. It was fantastic. I loved it but my hair grows so fast that I was basically cutting the short side like once a week because the tendrils were kind of like sticking out and it was just getting like dangly and long on this side. It was getting ridiculous. So eventually I, um, somewhere around like April or May, something like that, I ended up just kind of cutting the length off of the longer side and um, just letting it grow out evenly. So one of the many things that I plan to do this year is to just take care, better care of my hair. That means no more dyeing my hair, which um, you can't tell because I'm kind of far away from the camera, but my hair is two different colors. It's, um, I dyed it a box blonde first, and then I put this like purple over it, but the purple that I chose was so incredibly dark that um, it basically looked like my natural color. So when I waited for like the purple to kind of like fade out I was left with this sort of like tan brown which looks strangely natural on me I'm not mad at it but I'm not gonna go any farther than, the, than this like I'm not gonna dye my hair anymore when this all like gets cut out or however that ends so another thing that I plan to do besides just no longer dyeing my hair is to make sure to like really um, put a lot of product well, not a lot of product I don't want to like damage my hair by making it too um like soft but just make sure that I properly comb it out once a week that I properly oil my scalp as well as my uh, ends and just really like take care of it um because I want my hair to just grow I want it to do what it's gonna do and just like a weed and just hair out to here like it's gonna happen one of the other things that I plan on doing is once a month I'm going to sit down and do a length check. Um, right now, from the back of my head, let's just grab a section. My hair, sure it's in my, my hair is kind of dang it, down to here, which is like my collarbone. Here it's like this. From the back, like that's the like nape of my neck, hair down to my collarbone. And then from, I don't know, let's just say the middle of my head. Yeah, okay. So from the middle of my head, my hair is like touching my shoulder. So I did just wake up and that's where my hair is kind of like doing whatever it's doing right now. Uh, so I'm going to go get in the shower, do my like wash and whatever the hell, and then I'll show you guys my favorite um, style for this month. Um, I really, I'm kind of into updos right now just because they're super protective and also um, it's cold outside. And when my hair is like out like this, it takes forever to dry. It's a pain in the butt. And um, I just have, vivid flashbacks of being in middle school and running to school with my hair still wet and getting there and I have icicles in my head so um, I really just don't like having wet hair it makes me insanely cold which I'm already cold all the time anyway it's not fun so I'm gonna go hop in the shower get dressed you know make up all that and I'll be back in a while <laughs> Ta-da! So um, my hair is still pretty much wet um, because I am going to put it in a halo braid, which is my favorite way to wear my hair right now. Um, 
it's simple, it's easy, it's like, it could be elegant, it could be casual, like, it's the best way to just kind of like pull all your hair up and not have to worry about it being on your neck or in your face or whatever. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. Just, I want you to know that I am not the best at braiding my hair. I've only been doing it myself for like a year and a half. So I really, I'm not that good at it. So don't expect like super fantastic results or anything, but this is definitely like an easy style that's not terribly hard to learn. And um, pretty much if I can do it, anyone can do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start Okay, so that's it. Um, now my hair is up in this like fantastic like updo that I just absolutely love. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's perfect for like the summer because it keeps your hair off your neck and it's really great in the winter because you could totally rock it with like a slouchy hat or whatever. Um, and especially like today, it's only like 40 degrees outside and I kind of wanted to wear a hat. So this like sort of updo is perfect for um, if I just want to like throw a beanie on or something but then um, when I get inside I don't have like hat hair because I, I kind of hate that so um, yeah I mean I, I'm really excited to kind of like go down this hair journey um, the last time I had long hair was in high school and by the end of my 12th grade year I was starting to feel like having long hair was some kind of like sign of youth and so I started like little by little chopping my hair off and now my hair is like the shortest it's ever been in my entire life and it's kind of pissing me off. So I want to go back to like that old version of me because I feel like that long hair is just everything. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to keep going and I'll see you guys next month when I do my next length check. Catch you later.